Cash buyers get better car deals. Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here with the amazing Elizabeth. This has always been true in the car business, but years ago, it was for very different reasons than it is today. Years ago, cash was king. If you walked in the front door of a dealership and announced yourself as a cash buyer, you got the instant attention of the dealer and the sales staff were instructed to never let a cash buyer go without a car. If you're a cash buyer, you need to see our video titled, Don't Say I'm Paying Cash, so you understand the dealership business model and why you can't say this up front anymore. The larger the dealer is, the more likely they are to want you to finance instead of paying cash, especially if they have a finance office. Liz, you've done this many times. You get asked repeatedly, how do you plan to pay? So how do you <laughs> respond to this question? I tell them I'm not having financial discussions on the showroom floor. I will only do so in a private finance office after we find the vehicle I'm looking for at a price I'm willing to pay. I'm not filling out any forms before that time because I will not have my social security number floating around the showroom floor. Even after you say this once, the sales staff will still ask you how you plan to pay because they love to pester you <laughs> with this, saying their manager wants to know. I, I just repeat that I have a right to data privacy and I do not plan to disclose my personal financial information to sales staff. Why do they continue to pester you about paying for the car? Because that's how the dealer makes half their profits in the finance office on the people that take out the loans and they want to know early on in the game if the loan shark will be able to take advantage of me. What are you avoiding when you sit down in finance and you're a cash buyer? Well, the finance officer can't bury things like fees and products in the monthly payments because I'm writing a check for the one payment amount. There's something really important to know before you sit down in finance. You must have the agreed upon price of the car you're buying on a piece of paper in front of you. Documentation beats conversation. That's a key piece of information for you cash buyers out there. You must have the price of the car written down on the dealer's offer sheet before you sit down in finance. That's absolutely critical because once they realize you're not taking a loan, expect the game playing with car price to begin. Many of our viewers will say that dealers they visited will say they have a cash buyer fee for anyone paying cash. Especially nowadays. We're talking 500 to 1,000 bucks. And that's pure nonsense, of course, and you should refuse to pay it. Walk out if the finance man refuses to remove that fee. It's always disappointing to have to restart the process somewhere else, but you have to do it. Don't give crooked people your business. So the advantage the cash buyer has is that they can't get snowballed by a finance manager. There's no loan to hide all the costs in. Watch the cheerful tone and the smile on the finance officer's face disappear the moment you say you're declining his finance options <laughs> and are paying cash. At this point, don't be the car buyer who gets angry and reflects the same negative attitude the finance manager has. Behave like you expected your cash purchase to be no problem at all and act a little surprised by their change in attitude. I agree. You tend to get much better compliance when you behave respectfully. We've had smart Alec car salesmen come on the channel and say they would kick somebody like me off the car lot. That's totally untrue and a completely cowardly statement to make. I've given no dealer any reason to ask me to leave other than just expecting a straight up clean business deal. I'm respectful every time and I've never been asked to leave anywhere. This is true of anything else in life too. It's very hard for someone to continue to be rude to you when you treat them with decency and respect. Don't lower your standards to their level of scumbaggery. <laughs> Good one. It doesn't matter if the finance manager hasn't earned your respect either. You've come this far, so you've earned a fair car deal. Stay cool and stay put until you get what you want. You're a cash buyer. The only thing you should be paying for is the agreed upon price of the car, plus tax, state title, and license fees. Make sure you get the exact dollars and cents of each. The comments on our channel about paying cash are priceless. We'll share some of the best of them here with you. Thrifty Bill writes, <laughs> when I buy a new car, I go to a car dealership. When I finance a new car, I go to a bank. Car dealers are not in the finance business. And of course, I always go the credit union route for loans. Now I pay cash because I tend to keep cars a long time, so I don't need financing. Thanks for looking out for the average consumer. Paraphrasing Paul Simon, there must be 50 ways to rip off a car buyer. <laughs> Good one, Thrifty Bill. <laughs> okay, Jerome writes, thanks for the video and you nailed this straight through the coffin. I just recently bought a new car and when I decided to pay all up front, as I have money saved up. The finance officer keeps on convincing me to go with their special finance offer and guilt trips me for not making a decision, which I continually refuse. Finance offers are just another way to take more money out of your pocket. If you can't afford to buy a car, simply don't buy it. Good advice. Troy Rickliffe writes, last time I bought a car, I paid cash. I didn't tell them 
That was the plan until I pulled out my checkbook. They look so angry, I thought for a moment they're going to pull out of the deal. Hmm. That's exactly what we're talking about. It worked for Troy, and it'll work for you, too. Here's one from Yasmin. I was a car salesperson for a year, and this is all true. If you can get a salesperson to negotiate numbers before you tell them whether you're financing or paying cash, that's pretty much your only opportunity to negotiate. And I would recommend making it sound like you're planning on financing. Good. Also, big negotiation tip. Sound very interested in their options for an aftermarket warranty during the price of the vehicle negotiation. There's a huge profits in these warranties, so we would always consider dropping the price of the vehicle more because the profit it made up for here. Then of course, when you get what you think is the lowest price, be like, mm, sorry, not interested in the warranty, and I'd like to write a check for that amount. The amount of times I had people negotiate this way toward me and they got some insane deals. Yeah. And finally, Karim sums it up with, you have to be willing to walk when dealing with crooked people. No better words spoken. You got it, Karim. <laughs> All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends. Comments really matter because they help boost our online visibility and lead others to great Homework Guy content. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, here with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.